Africa is just a cemetery for Africans. Mostly when people in the diaspora die, I mean Africans in the diaspora, they passed away. What do their parents do? They actually bring their dead body back to Africans. And mostly those who come back to Africans, majority of them don't even have any investment or any source of business in Africa. Yet, they take our land and then we bury them inside. It might sound a little bit annoying, but this is the true fact. In fact, before I continue this video, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, share this particular video, and also subscribe as well. So, there's a previous video I did on Cote d'Ivoire. I talk about the relocation and then the transportation system in Ivory Coast. So I got a DM asking me to throw more light. So I'm going to do this video. It's about business you can do in Cote d'Ivoire. In fact, there have been a lot to do in Ivory Coast that people don't really know about. But then before I start, people might ask me, so you are talking about businesses, people should do business. You yourself, do you have a business that you do? Well, you might think I don't have, or you might think I have, but then I don't want to show you. But let me show you something. You see this product here? This is what I sell. I am a part-time, or let me say I'm a volunteer teacher. I work for an organization and then I get paid every month but then I do not only depend on my salary because I know it's not going to take me anywhere so the other things I do is business I sell this to people who are interested and also I have another business that is not my business but my mom's business but then I also take in charge of it that is a second hand clothing business so when I go home and I work for her I get my share so automatically I have a business that I do so that is why I'm making this particular video it is very very important for we to start our own businesses and there's this question people in the diaspora always ask on Facebook asking I have social degree I am in this particular field i love africa i want to come back to africa especially come back to west africa and the things i want to do is that i want them to employ me why should you come in africa in the sense of you being employed no you have the skill you have the experience why don't you come and establish a business over here why don't you look at the problem we are facing as Africans and actually take one of this problem and turn it into business for you to start making profit. So in Ivory Coast, there's no way I'm going to let go of this business if I don't talk about it. One of them is agriculture. In fact, majority of um, the money that is coming through in the country, it is agriculture. We have a lot of vast land and people are actually having a lot of farms that they are cultivating on but then it's not enough but still when you google and you ask google what is the problem of africa google will tell you that we africans we are hungry we don't have food we have food crisis if google is telling us that we have good a food crisis how then do we solve it is by letting a lot of people go into agriculture most of the people here or most of the villages the small small villages people there actually farm and how do they farm they only farm for them to eat but then they do not farm on a large scale this is where you come in you come inside you go to those places survey the place know the type of crops that grow on their land look for people who understand their languages even if you don't understand their languages talk to them help them to produce on a large scales by investing in them by investing you're also making money so this is one of the greatest business ideas you can start in la Côte d'Ivoire or in Côte d'Ivoire the second business 
idea that i would like to share is transportation idea i know a lot of you have heard about investi an africa investi simon an africa it's a guy who actually came back from the state and now he has established a lot of businesses in Cote d'Ivoire. in fact his businesses are doing extraordinary and i'm going to leave his channel link on the inside the description box kindly check him out he's doing doing a marvelous work he's really doing a marvelous work and i'm sure you're going to love it so this guy came and then he actually brought a lot of cars for you to be transporting people and he has given jobs to a lot of people and most of the people are working with him even females are driving his cars so tell me want to be very pleased to also start this kind of businesses there's no way it's going to go wrong because a lot of people are in the country so this car or this 200 cars that he has produced is not really enough we need a lot of people to go inside it and you know we have majority of people people in what in abidjan a lot of people stays in abidjan and transportation is one key factor always when it's festival time we always find it difficult to get a car back to the house so this is when you come in are you scared of investing in africa if your fear is going to let you not invest in africa then i don't know what is going to let you make money another business you can also tackle if you are in the domain of it is it and e-commerce a lot of we africans we are consumers we like when they develop those apps and they bring it to we so that we can consume we can watch tons of videos it's an unnecessary videos and also make them go their algorithm make them have money in their country you are we we are suffering you are the big consumer of those platforms are we africans when are we africans going to have our own platforms youtube facebook tiktok instagram whatever twitter is not for we africans but majority of the people consuming the content on this particular platforms are we africans so how can we develop apps that is going to benefit we africans that we are going to be getting money from it as content creators at some ways in education field as some ways into medical field or in any field we have a lot of apps developed by those outside there who are doing lots of these services and then these people are being paid but then when we come to africa here in africa we do not have apps that we can call our own even we consuming this app even some of our content creators who are on this app for them to even get money after they are done producing their content it's so difficult why then don't the tech technicians in our countries in africa in the continent actually come together and develop an app that is going to help the youth or anybody who is in in any field or in any domains we're getting money from it so this is one thing we need to also look at and also the world is changing is is revolving around digital world the butter trade we used to do or the trading physical trading we used to do is fading away small small so this is the time we need to embrace those apps and also start selling on those apps now the increasement in connectivity in africa it's so high so people want apps in agriculture that's going to help them manage their agriculture that's going to help them manage their field or anything so how then do we come in how then do our tech technicians come in this is when you guys come in because you guys have the abilities you've steady it for long some of you have gone outside the country you've come back with a lot of experiences why don't you give it a try why don't you actually build a platform that's going to reunite all africans and make it a platform that is going to pay africans in any african countries instead of us instead of us always waiting on those europeans to actually pay us sometimes we even create more and more content than them but because we are not in their country our revenue is so low to the extent that it it demotivates you that's how it is so this is what we need to do so 
with the businesses I mentioned earlier on, some of you might be thinking this Afro rich men or this Afro rich women. No, not all of them are for rich people. In fact, let's take in the domain of agriculture. Agriculture is very vast. And imagine you are a livestock farm, so you want to go into livestock. Now, how do you start? Start by buying one animal. Nature that animal very well. When it's time for you to sell it out, sell it out. Your profit, go back, buy two of it, bring, it, bring them back. Buy a male and a female. Let them, let them meet, let them start producing. This is how it all starts. Every business is starting on the low key. Another one is also what? Those um, chicken businesses or hen businesses buy those products, bring them together, nest them. By the time you realize, by the time a year pass or six months pass, you are already a pro in this game. And what about agriculture? Farming itself. Okay, you don't have a land. But then you have people who have land who can supply this land. Why don't you farm on a low key, farm just small, and sell those products out? The benefits you get next time, look for your own land and then farm on a large scale. How does it think? If your business is not solving a problem, then it's not a business. If you have fun value so far, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. In fact, I have one bonus, last bonus for you. And which business is that? It's chocolate business. You might be wondering why chocolate business. In Ivy Coast, we are the first producer of cocoa. If a country is having cocoa, why should we be exporting our raw material outside? Why don't we, in our country, produce cocoa? I mean, manufacture this thing into different things into chocolate. A lot of people love chocolate. Yes. It's chocolate that they used to get our for It's not because of chocolate, but this time we'll be on our own. So let me tell you, you can be a chocolate producer in Ivy Coast and then you are going to sell more. Not only in Ivy Coast and in Ghana as well. You are going to sell more, 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 more of it. Just look up, look at how it's been done. Look for people who are experts in this domain. Approach them, learn from them. If you are to bring someone from another country to come and help you do it, do it. And by the time you realize you are already employing lots of people, those who start employing people, they just started small. And as time goes on, they grow their businesses. And the other business idea you can venture into is cassava business. Wait, let me tell you why cassava business. You know, there are some towns that all that they do is to cultivate cassava. And whilst cassava is always in high demand or they have cassava in abundance, these people tend to sell it into a cheaper price. So you can actually buy a machine that can actually help you in roasting your cassava, in making your cassava into a finished product. Most of us here in Africa, we love Gary. We would just like to eat crunchy garlic. So this is the best option for you. Just look for a land and look for farmers who can actually help you grow your cassava if you can't talk to them or if you don't want to have business with them. But then you can look for neighbors or someone who is well abreast with growing of cassava to actually do this for you. And also buy your machine, roast your cassava and also turn it into garlic or look for other options for those who are for those who also want to sell a ticket in maybe in Ghana here because a lot of people have now understood how a ticket is being done so you can actually do your a ticket in Cote d'Ivoire and bring it to Ivory Coast or you can come here in Ghana establish your own firm and also start a ticket business that is so wonderful see how you are able to bring your cassava into existence see how you are able to make more values put more values on the cassava bonus business for you guys and it is palm oil business and also black soap business there is no way this business can go wrong i told you if you don't know how to do this business don't force yourself just look for a community where you know they are into the manufacture of soap or they are into the manufacture of palm oil 
go there, talk to the people, and also be a middleman who is going to serve this thing inside the market. And if you are someone who is always abreast or who is also abreast with how to ship things to other country, then this is a perfect opportunity for you. And this business is actually not for the boss. It's for you and I. We can do it. So guys, I'm going to stop this video here today. Please do well to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and also share. This is Salam Hajara on Salam Hajara TV, and I remain your humble.